I am not equipped with night vision, so please forgive me for not being able to see my face. But I was inspired by the moonlight. I wanted to come out and share something with you. That is that for the longest time in my life, I was very afraid of the dark. The dark seemed just so intimidating. I suppose one reason being that my primary sense, my vision, was so disrupted. And I had a very vivid imagination, so the night was also filled with all kinds of slavering beasts that wanted my blood. <laughs> when I was 17, when I spent three months in the woods, I was very afraid my first few nights out in the dark. But over that three months, my view of the night changed. And it changed so much that by the end of that time, I found that I felt more comfortable in the night than at any other time. If I could be in a dark place in the forest, I felt so secure. And the turnaround was very, very enlightening for me. I became aware of a world, an entire world that had been closed off to me before because of my fear. The night is a time of other creatures, of the owls and mysterious flying squirrels, the raccoons making their rounds. <laughs> I've had some amazing memories, some amazing experiences sitting out in the forest at night and having encounters with creatures that I never would have had probably in the daytime. The night had me encounter glowing mushrooms in the forest. Strange sounds that I couldn't identify. Beautiful starscapes. And just the magical moments of being there in the forest, in the dark, in a space that humans seldom go. It was my own beautiful, magical, mysterious, immersive. Similarly, our youngest daughter, Liliana, recently developed a fear of spiders. And for some months over the winter, this fear has been inside of her. Then we read a book by one of our family heroes, Cy Montgomery, called The Tarantula Scientist. And in this book, she shares her adventures meeting these beautiful animals, these tarantulas, and how it changed her life. And just reading that, Liliana began to shift. Now she can't wait for us to find our first jumping spider in the spring so she can meet the creature. Again, a world open to her that otherwise would have been closed and fearful. I'm not sharing all this to suggest that we need to conquer every single one of the things that intimidates us. We don't all have to go out and become skydivers. But there is a part of us that recognizes when something is really holding us back from life. It recognizes that the world we're being held back from by our fear is a world that holds great treasures for us. The night was such a world for me. And that the night is now open to me, accessible, welcoming, comfortable. It adds such a huge dimension to my life. I think that Liliana will find that as she goes out in the forest and she finds her fear of spiders evaporating, it will be a different forest for her 
not a force where she is watching out all the time and fearful, but where she's looking for friends that might be lurking under logs or spinning a web between trees. Perhaps you have something like this in your life, something that you fear, that intimidates you, but you know that behind that fear and intimidation, something beautiful is waiting for you. If you would, share in the comments what that fear is. And if you have found ways to venture into it, I think if we share and we encourage each other, we'll find that we can give each other all a boost of courage to explore that thing in our life that treasure place that's just waiting to be opened. Sending so much love to all of you, so much gratitude for being part of my life, part of my family's life. I will look forward to talking with you in the comments, my friends. Love to you all.